Well, hello there, YouTube, and um, welcome to a new Warframe video. Today, we're talking about... Wait! No, this is not Warframe. <laughs> it's just the April Fool's joke. Actually, of course, it's another one in the Record Keeper series. Today's a rather special one because it's the April Fool event where we got to use Jeff D as another one of our soldiers. Although she's supposedly not an EK, I don't know, that's kind of sus. Because according to the story, she was able to handle a submachine gun without any issue, whereas the commander got hit hard by the recoil. Can I wander whenever you're in front of an EK? What do you say, Exia? <sighs> I'm sleepy. Be my pillow, will you? Anytime. I mean, wait, no, you're gonna crush my legs. Your head awaits. Alright, let's get into the event area. So, I couldn't resist myself and clear the entirety of the missions as soon as I saw him. <laughs> but surely somebody out there must have recorded the missions themselves. It was pretty fun using Chifty. She was quite an OP character, I have to say. She uses a submachine gun. And in her burst, she's a burst one, of course, otherwise you wouldn't be able to use it because she was basically your only Nikkei, well, slash soldier out there. So, with her burst, she will basically clear the entire field. It was quite something. So, let's check out the event quest story. Uh, you see some sort of code here, which is not exactly a code, it just says full stay in characters and with rather poor spacing, but that's pretty much what it says, there is really nothing more to it. As much as you want to scroll, there is actually nothing there. So let's get into it. This is the preview of the event, so to say. This is before entering the actual missions. Wait, no, it is not. <laughs> of course, another joke. This is the actual start to it. So it all starts with Chifty calling you out at the commander's room. And asking you to go with certain urgency to the coordinates she indicates. Well, it's actually an emergency according to her. So you agree to go? Of course. I mean, it's Shifty, our cute operator there. And so you go to the surface. And so you go. Then we get this one. Shift is serum. This is where the first battle starts, by the way. Alright, let's play again to get the other choice. <laughs> I'm not zero. <serious. laughs> of course she's not. It's shifty. This is after the battle, of course.
she's actually so right. <laughs> Unlike Chifty, for some reason, the commander got hit hard by the recoil. Whereas Chifty shot that seamlessly. Let's go again to get the other choice. Okay, by any chance, and this is the choking part, also. She straight forward says no. <laughs> but I don't know, that's kind of sus. Because she shot without a problem that Nikkei firearm. So theoretically, the firearms wielded by Nikkei's are not meant to be shot by humans, because the recoil will send you fucking flying, actually. We all know that from the episode where the commander took Seven Dwarf Snow White's rifle, right? And tried to shoot it at Modernia, I think it was. If I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it actually sent him flying. That was a sniper rifle, by the way, so it worked. I also find a discrepancy here between this part of the story and the story we got from the collab event. According to the collab event, the weapons had like a fingerprint rating and only the registered user should be able to fire the weapon. In which case, if Chifty was the registered user, why was the commander able to shoot the firearm? Well, then again, he's a commander, so he might have some sort of override power over them or permissions, you may say, embedded in the weapon software, could be.
when I read this part inside me, I was people up. She doesn't know. <laughs> Nothing of it was prepared. Which is the funny part. And yet she kept that thought in her mind. Although it was all for the better. Now she feels herself combat capable. Pretty much. Here goes Neon spoiling joke. Has through a lot. Nah, 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 Rappi ain't just got it. Alright, let's check out the other option, shall we? Although, I've gotta say, as of late, Chip Top Studio made it so that both options have basically almost the same text. The variation is very slight. So people won't get the fear of missing out on whatever text is around. Which is nice on a part. But then again, it is also nice to have some surprises around. Especially since you can recheck the events and texts and cutscenes well at least for the campaign main part another thing I like about the storytelling in Nikkei that is that unlike in Cutter's side in Nikkei you don't get in-game text that might get the story part incomplete. Because if you only go through the episodes as I'm doing now, you might get to skip something that was in the gameplay that you will not be able to get here and will make the story inconsistent. It's literally the same text. 
like I said, they've been changing stuff around and the variations are super slight, if any at all. But then again, it's okay. It's funny how Belorta can get anyone with her jokes. <laughs> Although she got some really bad taste pranks. And cruel because as you can see Mika is crying her soul out There you go. Surely he won't fall for it next time, surely. <laughs> Let's play that again.
and she pulled it off to pretend to not be joking. I don't know why the music stopped. There we go. That was something. Cafe Sweetie sells black tea, surely. Imagine the girls from Cafe Sweetie dressed up as maids. <laughs> Will be funny. Also, skin when shift up. Hello. <laughs> that would be nice.
Yeah, I wonder if she can. She's cringing out, I swear. <laughs> There goes Prima beating the two of them to it. If they were cringing with the previous, this is like the worst for milk and sugar. Let alone Freema. Wow. Sugar was fast to it. Home soda. Probably better off not knowing. True. <laughs> Jokes on you guys. This is actually true. If you went through Drake's uh, personal story, you will notice why I say that. Damn, she doesn't know what you're getting into, dude.
Man, Polgus one face. He's so hugely shocked. <laughs> I almost felt bad for full one back there. Possession of an illegal substance. How are those illegal? Here come the real cops. She just got away. Damn. Yeah, that was hella sus. Right, I feel I had some text pending from Cafe Sweetie, so I'll play it again, and then I'll play again the Drake is Tricky Hero, because we also got some text pending from that one. I could be wrong, but just in case. Oh yeah, I recall now, I did leave one pending. It was one of the dishes. Gucci heart shaped fried rice. And as Kokoa would say, with some ketchup magic over it. It was literally the same text as the other one, to be fair. Funny how Freemar is like, funny, hand it over.
Yeah, there we go. Let's go back to this one. Hello, game? There we go. Funny how Drake is like, oh thank you, and then she immediately switches faces as soon as she tries Emma's food. Damn. Like for real, we all love Emma, she's one of our best killers, but her cooking isn't exactly her forte. It's to die for, surely. Surely. Yeah, she's smelling the sauce. <laughs> All right, that was Drake is a true hero. Talentum is broke. Imagine Talentum being broke though. This part is one of the funniest, I have to say.
Wait, I mean what? <laughs> Wait, hello? This is taking a bit of a weird turn, guys. That was quite an encounter. Let's go again for the other choices. Since we got a slight difference in here.
It's funny how the commander was going nuts. Rupee's face though, she's even sweating. <laughs> That's so funny. to the final one a day of untruths so someone was using the shower probably one of the knee case surely Huh? <laughs> Commander just went crazy. Like, how, dude? <laughs> Surely in five minutes. Like why all the go all the way to the outpost if you have a meeting in five minutes in the arc? Damn. That was so weird. That was so weird, guys. Surely, you're gonna know about it. Surely. I'm not gonna lie, it would have been quite a shock if it actually happened. Like, imagine the possibilities. Yeah, there you are sound asleep. Surely. More like half awake.
I mean, who would? All right, let's play again for the other choice at the end, but it's pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure. I don't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it is. And so it was the same text. And that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the story as much as I did. The event was pretty fun too. I wish I had recorded the event actually, but nah, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry guys. Also from the mission, you only got gems, but it was nice, it was a lot of gems. So if you haven't done the event yet, you better hurry up because as of this recording, there is 44 minutes left. Probably when it is uploaded to YouTube, it is either gonna be done or gonna have very few minutes left. So you better move fast guys. Have a great one and see you next video. Bye.